Welcome to CCS Quick Tips. In this video, I'll show how you can read or write data variables to a file using breakpoints. As you may know, the default action on a breakpoint is to remain halted when the breakpoint is reached. However, this can be customized to perform several other actions, including reading or writing data to a file. Here I have a CCS project that has been loaded onto the target. Now, if I want to write the data values of Y1 to a file, all I have to do is set a breakpoint after the point in the code where the value of Y1 changes. And then you can modify the breakpoint properties to write the data to a file. So I'm going to go ahead and set a breakpoint by double clicking in the editor. And if you open up the breakpoints view, you can see here that I have a breakpoint set. Next, I can right click on the breakpoint and go to breakpoint properties. And here you can see the default action is to remain halted. We can change this action to write data to file. The next thing we can do is specify the name of the file and where we want to save the file. So I'm going to save the file to a temporary directory here that I have created under uh, my C directory. And I'm going to give it the name Y1 Data. Okay, I'm going to leave the format as a hex format. For the start address, we want to put the address of Y1. And the length would be uh, the size of Y1. In this case, it's an integer, so we're just going to copy um, the one value each time. So each time we're going to read the value at the same address and write it to file. So once we've said all of this, we can say OK. The next thing I'm going to do is set another breakpoint at the end of the loop. So right over here, so that we can halt there um, and verify that the data was written as we expected. So now I'm going to run the program and wait until it halts at the breakpoint. Now we can open up and take a look at the Y1 data file. So if I open up the file in an editor, I can see here that I have 10 data values saved to the file, which is what we would expect because we're going through this loop 10 times. You can follow a similar process to read values from a file and inject them into a variable as well. Hope this quick tip was helpful and thank you for watching.